Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. What's today? 14th? Thursday. No, 13th. It's October 13th. I just got home from the uh, mule deer hunt giveaway up at R and K. Kate and I are, well, Kate just got done with work and Jade is just sniffing out my new cooler. So I'm packing up for New Mexico. You going for a walk? Yeah, I'm gonna go take her for a walk quick. Jade needs a little exercise, she's getting thick. Let me yeah. show you. Come here. Come here, Jade. Come here. Show him. You're getting thick, huh? You're like a 50 pounder now. Yeah. I bought her a pumpkin from PetSmart. She likes it. This dog literally um, loves and appreciates all of her toys, and she knows their toys. She <laughs> almost doesn't mess with anything else except. Well, her dog bed. She ruined her dog bed. And then and what else did she eat? The controller. She ate your remote. <laughs> Very expensive one for the house. Yes. So this house came with like a smart system or whatever, home automation. And the controller in the family room controls everything from the controller. And I left her to go to the gym for, I don't know, an hour and a half. And she decided to get on the couch, which is not acceptable. She's not allowed on the couch. And then uh, she chewed the remote. So kind of bummed about that. But here's my spread i just got this new yeti 210 i've got all my stuff packed and i'm taking my weather b 300 and of course i got to show you guys this new edition for the hush oh my gosh <laughs> i want to see if she's scared she's scared of the box she's scared of boxes and plastic sacks come here come here get in jake come on jake get in Like anything but the box. Come here. Good girl. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> no. That is so mean. Go in there. Come here. Jane, come on. Go I'm inside. The box up. <gasps> come here. She's like, can I just go from the back? Nope. She's so scared. Come here. Come on. She hates being she's grabbed by the collar. All right, she's entertained. But yeah, check this out. Can am commander we had the team at draco put some uh, special touches on it including their own camo pattern uh, some new seats ostrich leather new seats by prb a yeti cooler a camp chef in the back some lights lights in the front and then an awning on the side so yeah this new rig this new rig is going to be a pretty sweet arsenal for our lineup we took it on the rnk and it was super helpful seats for and uh, Caleb shot a great buck. I don't want to share a ton of stuff from the hunt, but we did share some of our videos on the Instagram platform. So it's not like it's a big deal. So I'll share a little clip or two of that hunt on this vlog. Jay, let's go, come on. Ready, jump on, go, go, come on. go, get Jay, out. come on. Come on, go, get out. Jay, get out. come here. Dude, such an athlete Good job. now. <laughs> <Ooh. You> get... <laughs> Growling at her. Good morning everybody. Welcome back to the RK. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful sunrise we're just kind of hitting first light right now just checked the spot real quick and just saw a small buck and some does so we're moving on with the entire team six or seven of them and uh, at least two that are really nice so here we go guys
just uh, trying to get the other guys over here, but everything looks pretty good. He's like 480 right now bedded. And if we can get those guys over here, I think we'll have a, a really, really good opportunity on him. So fingers crossed, guys. Guys, buck down, man. One shot. That deer could barely make it out of his bed. So, nice shot, Caleb. Got the guys up here. Woo! Caleb, heck of a job, dude. Way to stay patient. It took us a little longer than we thought, but it was a perfect amount of time. It took us three days. We got to see over a bunch of country. We got to look at a bunch of bucks, find the one that we were after. Didn't get him killed this morning, but we were patient, came back, found him, and made a heck of a stock and a heck of a shot, dude. Hey, hey guys, wanted to add a little something. Ben and I, oh, guys. Uh, we've had this hunt before. For those of you who watch the channel. Well, you know what sucks is our video, never Full Send, released. never really got released. The first year we hunted out here. But we've just been walking down the trail, kind of talking about the vlog style videos. And I don't know, maybe feeling like we pulled away from that just a little bit. And wanted to pull out the camera and do a vlog. So Ben and I, had this tag, Chad Mendez had the tag, and we went oh for three. Not cool, not stoked, rough. It was rough. But the only thing we really missed out on this hunt was hanging out together because we were all kind of uh, camping off our backpacks and just trying to cover country to look for help. Excited to share the film for you guys though. Um, you're still gonna enjoy it. We got to see some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, shit crazy. Give him a blurb. What do you think, bro? I think that this uh, hunt sucks. <laughs> Nobody do it, it sucks. No, we actually had a lot of fun, worked hard, camped hard, and went long, and it just didn't pan this time. Uh, I saw a few bulls and never came together, watched one get killed, but I never really ran into a bull that I would have been super stoked on, so I feel okay eating the tag and just moving on to the next one. But What's your next one? Next one's gonna be Utah OTC muzzleloader for me. It's been a slow year for me getting going, but I have faith something good's gonna happen soon. All right, so I'm looking forward to actually getting home and I don't know, maybe having four or five days in between my next hunt. So my next hunt is actually open right now. It's Idaho general season mule deer. It's a rifle hunt. And then November 1st starts Idaho. It's basically a general season rifle elk hunt. So I'm just gonna go hunt those back to back and uh, Mainly focus on the elk, um, as I still trying to finish strong on the five for five and um, just push as hard as I can. So after that, it'll be a Utah hunt. And again, it's gonna be fun to share with you guys. Each hunt, the different terrain, the different style of hunting, and you guys are gonna see it all unfold. So we're walking out of here. It's a beautiful day, thank goodness, because we had some rain and fog and, and uh, snow up here. But look at the leaves, they still haven't fallen off all the way. Freaking gorgeous up here. Yeah. Here we go. Back home we go. Jade. Adventure pup. Where are we at, huh? <laughs> Just checking out all the new stuff. I'm home. I made it back to home sweet home and my girls. 
Kate and Jade. Big girl now. Running errands. We came down to old Eagle Eye Promotions. Eagle Eye is where we fulfill and ship. Uh, it's where we print and embroider all our lifestyle apparel for the Hush store, gethushin.com. Um, I haven't announced it on this site, but we're actually doing a huge giveaway on Hush. It is called the Ultimate Base Camp, the Ultimate Hunting Base Camp Giveaway. We're giving away a Team Lodge trailer with some Yeti stuff and some Camp Chef stuff. And it's actually double entries week. So every dollar you spend on the website gets you two automatic entries to win the whole price package. So check it out. A whole ton of new apparel is live on the website. Finally got the duck camo and my foamy hat. It's been my favorite. A whole bunch of hoodies, t-shirts, all that kind of stuff. I'll show you when I get home, but just want to make sure you guys are aware of the giveaway and uh, it is going on on the Hush website. So make sure you follow Hush on all social platforms. I'm gonna put the link to our store down below. You guys can go check out the store and all the new apparel. Jade, you never even ridden in a truck bed yet, huh? <laughs> she'd, she'd freak out. She'd probably jump out the side and be rolling. You ready to get down? Yeah. Jade is actually pretty comfortable being held like this. We're a big girl, oh yeah. Don't knock my hat off. You keep gaining weight. You think she's over 50? She's probably 50 now. When we got her, she's like 41. Yeah, just a skinny thing. She loves, she actually like loves being held and like. She does. Cuddled. You're a good girl. <laughs> her face is like, Like, let me down. She's so patient. So it feels good to be home. It's crazy coming off the mountain. Um, it's been cold. We had a snowy day. We had some foggy days freezing cold temperatures at night frost every single morning and then coming to salt lake is like a dang heat stroke so um our fall is pretty late we still have leaves in salt lake on most of the trees up in the mountains and typically the leaves have fallen by now and we've had our f first snowstorm by now but we haven't um it's supposed to snow this weekend so this place is going to be a disaster with rain and snow and i'm sure the mountains the wasatch mountains out here are going to be covered all right jade show them your skills so athletic now <laughs> she's a backseat rider where you want to go babe i feel like i need caffeine but also what time is it too late it's 4 30. but i need caffeine <laughs> what are we doing tonight it's the Last nice day of October. Yeah. Or I'll, I'll, honestly of the whole year. Like I said, weather here in Salt Lake is going to be a disaster for the next few days. And the temps are just skyrocketing down. It's been the nicest week here. It's like been the 70s. So I'm going to enjoy this last nice. Okay, nice let's day. go enjoy it. We'll do something then we're going to cook dinner. Jade's first dog to a dog park and we found the male version of her. <laughs> it's like her twin. Little, yeah, he does have long tail. Boy, but it looks a lot like her. Let's go show you. Look at this. Jade's face with a white dot on his hip. <laughs> That's crazy. Jade's making all kinds of... Look at her go. She's like, what are we doing? Are we, are we, doing, are we chasing she each other? so fat. <laughs> she just freaking ate it. She ate it. <laughs> Our dog is not athletic. She's not. She doesn't know how to play fetch. Jade! Oh my gosh, she's gonna be so dang tired. Hey, buddy. Look at this little guy. <laughs> Best pals. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> she's over it. She's like, oh my god. Right, I give her. She's so sick. Oh, she's so cute. She's come on. Jade looks dogs to play with her so bad. She's like, she's like, doesn't understand. She's like, play with me. So, before I close out the vlog, I wanted to do more package surprises because. <laughs> You guys seem to enjoy those. And I have another bunch of packages to open, including this one from Canada. Here's the stack of goods. 
And uh, some of them, again, I don't know what they are. Some I do. So let's snag them and open them. So the first one is from Marsupial Gear. Well, I have never myself owned any of the gear from Marsupial, but uh, my buddy Shed Crazy does. He uses it for his vinyl harness, which is this. And one thing that he likes about it, which I think is awesome, is it magnetizes in the back and folds open. So the best part is instead of flipping up your bino hub towards you and having the flappy thing, if you just want access to your binos, it's forward. So that's pretty sweet. A couple books. Alpha by John Henley. Check that out, a signed copy. That's pretty sweet. And I think there's, yeah. Got another one too, The One Too Many by Melody Annie and John Henley. So another book. God, I need to get back on so many things of reading. I was doing it, I'd say this spring, but I have failed to continue. And we got a third book from John. Bravo, sweet. Man, I really gotta get to reading these. So thank you, John, for sending those. All right, we got a bag from Rack Hub. Oh. Okay, I poked a hole through. Whew. Look at that. Dang, so if you guys remember back in my shop when I built it, I used a couple of these. So the XL2 actually, this screws into the wall right here and these two universal ball joints um, peg into your set of shed antlers or cutoffs. So if you have a skull cap that you don't like, you can cut them off. And I have one of these hanging in my shop now, but this is a brand new one. It's not all damaged. Um, or a second. So thank you guys at Rack Hub, which is like the big one for elk. The one is for deer, whitetail, um, mule deer, axis deer, etc. But yeah, the RH2 XL uh, is for the big one. So this will hold moose, caribou, elk, etc. And I have put up some of the heaviest antlers I have. I put up my big five point set and it holds it up there pretty dang good. So these are at rack-hub.com. Your antlers say thank you and so do we. <laughs> Thanks guys. So I uh, got hit up on Instagram from these guys. I think it's been a couple years ago. AHA Shed Hunters. This is the 2023 calendar. Sweet. Um, and they always do fundraisers every spring. And last year I'd sent them some autograph tines, the little autograph tines I make. I sent them some hush gear and they used it to auction off and help raise money and they do it every spring for a family and last year it was for i think it's pronounced isla and yeah touching touching stuff of what these guys are doing up in canada when you combine shed hunting and giving back to your local community you guys know i'm about that so i plan to bring some awareness to this um this next year in february and i'm gonna be asking you guys to maybe um, auction some stuff off whatever we can do to raise some money and they will announce probably sometime this winter which family or which recipient they have chosen to do the fundraiser for. But you guys should check these guys out on Instagram, AHA Shed Hunters Foundation. Go give them a follow. But this is a, a shed hunting calendar with some ATLs for each month. Let's see what April is. That's my birthday month. January, February, March, a big elk shed. Perfect. And April. Wow, they got muley sheds. Guys, we need big brown elk sheds next April. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, thank you, Carson, for sending this. We'll be in touch. Look at this thing. I don't know if they send these to like their influencers or whatever, but their boxes are always so cool. Like that's pretty heavy duty. So Vortex, looks like they got some new apparel coming out. So they got a nice hat. Came with a card, layers that trap in comfort. So these are like their thermal layers. And left me a note. Thank you for being a part of the Vortex Nation. We hope you enjoy the gear and the best of luck to you this fall. So yeah, it looks like it came with a couple thermal style long sleeves and maybe one hoodie. So yeah, those look comfy. Perfect for fall. But thank you guys at Vortex. Absolutely love being a part of the Vortex Nation and being partnered up with them on uh, the Hush platform. So thank you, Vortex. All right, well, before I cut it off and say adios, just a reminder, guys, now through the 24th is Double Entries Week for the Hush um, Ultimate Base Camp giveaway. 
So if you shop Hush now through the 24th um, of this month, October, you will get two entries for every dollar you spend on the website to get entered for the trailer. I uh, appreciate it, guys. Every little dollar spent not only helps us, it gives you a chance to win the Ultimate Base Camp, so make sure you get entered uh, before it ends on the 16th of November. But again, do it quickly and you'll get in for double entries. So checking out from us, Jade, Pup, and Kate, who's relaxing on this cold, rainy day, huh? It's miserable out. I haven't been here yet since it's been crappy. Uh, yeah, today was the first day that was super bad weather for you. Mm -hmm. You got lucky this fall. It's been nice. Anyways, thank you everyone who sent care packages, um, and thank you for everyone watching this. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. We've hit over 35,000 subscribers, so that's pretty impressive. I appreciate it. And uh, definitely going to try to get out the camera more and vlog while I'm out on these adventures. I just seem to, like, capture all that stuff, which is for the Hush channel. So go follow me over there. You'll see all the hunts. And until then, we'll just uh, we'll see you on the next video.